Hey, heathens. Here we go. Okay. I just got a Rizzo cut and I promised my hair guru, Robin, at Southern Curl ATL that I would show her how I style this and I absolutely love it. It's so fun like me. <laughs> I really love this. Okay. So let me show you how I got here because that took a long time. Yeah. So just, just watch. Okay, so I exclusively use InnerSense Organic Beauty for shampoo. I use the hydrating hair bath for conditioner. I use the hydrating cream conditioner and quiet, calm curl control. I create volume. Then I finger coil. I forgot to do this in this video, sorry. Next, we go to makeup. Using Fenty Beauty in the shade 420, dot that all over your face and blend with your beauty blender. Blend your life away. <laughs> and I want another layer. Let's do it. Moving on. I kind of preset my makeup for concealer and I use Laura Mercier setting powder in medium deep. Wipe that away with the Real Techniques powder brush and used Iman stick foundation in the color clay three. Love this. This is my pre concealer routine. And sometimes I just wear this part as concealer. Next we have Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer in the color five. This is a cream concealer, so it's very heavy. I have very oily skin. So sometimes it kind of looks like it's melting off of my face. But it looks really good in photos, so I don't use too much and pair it with a very heavy setting powder. Enter Ben Nye Banana Powder. My tried and true, this is my first setting powder ever, and if I want to look bright, this is it. While I wait for my face to set and bake, I like to diffuse my hair. It's in finger coils right now, so I will use my Diva Dryer, which has this claw hand-like thing on it, which is the diffuser, to dry. It doesn't seem like it, but I've been diffusing my hair for about 15 to 20 minutes. So it's time to continue with my makeup. I put my hair up, use my powder brush to wipe the banana powder off of my face and then set the rest of my face with the Ben Nye translucent face powder in Sienna. That is my kryptonite. It sets everything. It makes the banana powder look not ashy. Then, I will bronze my face, kind of like a pre-bronzer, with the Guerlain bronzer in number seven, tried and true. After that, I'm going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer in mahogany. Now we're getting a little chisel. And then blush time. Real Techniques blush brush, actually it's a stippling brush, with my Black Up blush in number six. And then I will use Fenty Trophy Wife to highlight. Can't go wrong with that. I like to do my eyebrows after I do my face, which is an unpopular opinion, but that's what I like to do. I like how natural it looks. I only really highlight under my brows if I'm going somewhere really fancy. Then we'll do eyes. I like wings. Today I'm using Linear Intense Carbon Black. And for some reason, I was able to get it on the first try. That never happens. And it wasn't too thick or anything. Weird. Throw on some Maybelline New York Curvitude Mascara. I don't really use falsies because my eyes get super irritated. So I try to be as minimal as possible when it comes to eyes. Oh, forgot to set my brows. I use aloe vera gel and this wand I found at Sephora. It works really well. Going for a rather neutral look for my lips. So 
So today I'm using NYX Lip Liner in Ever and Nutmeg, and then Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Ashton. I actually found this lipstick because of my friend Naila, because we were looking for nude lipsticks for women of color, and this is a hit. Now we're done. Set your face with Urban Decay's All Nighter Setting Spray. Time to let your hair down. It's time to style this Rizzo cut. This is my first time styling this, and it actually turned out very well. The purpose of the Rizzo cut is to have volume on the crown, but keep the length in the back. So we finger coil, which is physically curling your hair with your hand and letting it dry. And then we're going to take the curl out of the coil to create volume and that's it after that shake 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 frizz is happy curls dancing that's what nubia suarez says so let's do it okay that's it i love this look at these little bangs you guys it's a wrap. Till next time, everyone. I want to do a lot more of this because at the end of the day, I do makeup and hair for the camera. Because I'm a photographer, I know what I'm looking for. I know what I'm editing post-process. I have been in Lightroom and Photoshop for hours correcting things that can be done like this. Now it's time for a photo shoot, so I'll see you guys later. Bye!